Once again, it's on at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, day number 16 of August 2012. Uh, now that I have your attention, I'm going to go ahead and return the favor by giving you some of mine and better shifting the focus to some subjects or a subject that I believe we can all agree probably is important. And the subject is importance, and in this particular case, is self-importance. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, doing this out front today, the weather is a little bit back to upgraded temperature again in the hundreds. So was going to put this off for later, but that's a bad habit. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can get done today. Don't put off for later what you can do right now. So got to preach what we practice and practice what we preach so let's get on with the speech and say that self-importance that's actually a subject that really is the cornerstone of this whole exploration and adventure when I really look at it in depth between us as friends that's what it boils down to the search in regards to the science of self-importance and importance in general and that's what keeps showing up so somewhat of a follow-up from yesterday's post in regards to who or what or where is actually to be considered a star I think we can narrow down the scope even further and ask who what or where uh, we can actually all consider as important and that, my friends, is the dilemma. Important. I mean, let's face it, everybody has their own definition and their own uh, idea, feeling of what's important. It's different strokes for different folks. Uh, some people think that sports and athletics is important. Some people think that the economy is important. And each and every person has their own set of uh, priorities as far as what's important and the order of importance that they fall into including self-importance and I just think it's good for any person to have a certain degree of self-importance I mean you gotta have some kind of ego about yourself a lot of uh, speakers and thinkers want to dis discount the ego but I think just like anything else uh, if it was given to human beings, it has some kind of reason or purpose, and various people have quoted why they believe that, but it is what it is, it's there for a reason. But, just getting in depth, we have to say, there's got to be some kind of bottom line, common connecting factor in regards to who, what, or where is actually important what's important who is to say what is important for any person we all have our own definition but at the same time especially with the internet now that we're a global community there's got to be at some point some kind of common connecting factor in which we can all agree is important or however you say that word important in your own language my friends from out of out of state out of country uh out of planet in your own language you know what important is so we got to get down to some kind of common factor in regards to what is important take it on the earth I just did a little installment on uh, Facebook social media and it has to do with water you'd be hard-pressed to find a person on this planet at least that doesn't find water important whether it's elderly or even infants that really haven't learned how to speak. Uh, baby cries, baby needs some wawa. Uh, juice, which requires wawa, or some milk from a cow, which to produce requires some wawa, or maybe from a mother's milk, uh, mother's breast that requires some wawa to produce. So, water, most humans, birds, and the bees. Uh, fish in the seas would probably agree that water is important but when it comes to stuff like that it kind of takes the fun 
out of life takes the zest. There's some kind of zest factor in regards to importance. And I mentioned social media because that's exactly what it seems to be a competition in regards to who and what is actually important. It's a bunch of people competing amongst themselves in regards to what's important and who's important. And when it comes to self importance, well, we kind of live in a self centered society uh, with the advent of smartphones. The smart thing to do is to be in your own little thing. And, uh, having everything in the world revolve around you is just a thing that we're dealing with, but we got to come down to some kind of mechanisms to make it workable for us so we get a good result at the end. Uh, we're all intelligent people. Those are the types of people that I attract and are attracted to. So if you've been listening to this, uh, somewhat you're either on that level or moving towards it. But we got to get together and come down with some basic fundamental rules and guidelines to determine uh, what is important, who is important, and who is not. In the hood, uh, speaking in, I guess, a native tongue, it's generally stated that you're only as important as you're useful and necessary. And one of the primary conflicts that I see and have seen ever since the advent of social media uh, that's even a popular term now, social media, hey, your social media pitch and brand and, you know, shit like that. And it kind of gets irritating because really, really says is self-importance. It starts with the same letter. But there's been a competition in regards to who and what is important. And if we were to do the math and think logically, it's like people showing up with nothing to offer others but their own need to feel important. And I don't think one person's need to feel important is really useful and necessary to the next person. So interestingly enough, being Ryland Branch and putting some kind of theory to it, I would say, well, that's kind of like a form of zombie cannibalism. That's each person trying to consume the other person to feel their own hunger. And uh, maybe some kind of universal cosmic law principle is manifested into the physical universe to confirm uh, what's going on in the collective consciousness of humans. If we want to get our uh, get our Aristotle on, but this is just Robin Branch talking to you and trying to get together with folks to work out a workable solution. Uh, this I think going to be the truth for ever. For females, especially, it's just something that's a part of y'all nature that makes you want to uh, get some attention. I think it has something to do with just a biological need. Obviously, a man is going to need to pay attention to you in order for a man to invest something into you and get a return known as a human being. That's how we all got here, so that's the order of life. But when it comes to the extent of just sucking up a bunch of attention, for the purpose of feeling important, well, we got a problem. That's what I could consider some form of sickness. So, once again, we got to develop a cure. So, in closing, uh, with pimphop.com, like I told certain people before, we do have all the social media applications in place, and it's never been an intention for me to be the only speaker and the only writer. Uh, it's actually for other people. That's what we built as a platform. We just go against people who don't have anything to offer other than their own need to feel important and use up all of the resources provided for their own narcissistic purposes and tendencies. So for those of you who can rock and roll on that level, we look forward to hearing from you. But in closing, once again, we're just using our resources to get to the bottom of things. Uh, Facebook is in sharp decline, and I, I sincerely believe it is for that reason. Uh, you become more and more worthless, and the site becomes more and more worthless. The more worthless the individuals who occupy and use the site are. And if nobody has anything to offer but their own need or what they're trying to get, well, that's kind of not worth anything. So we can go on and on, on but I just want to open up the debate. We'll keep the debate debate keep it under 10 so uh let's just 
pause the movie right there and take an honest to God look at that particular question, self-importance. Um, to what extent should we have it? And I guess who should we accept it from as truth as far as that person's own importance? Let's come down to some uh, definitions that we can create for ourselves that work for us. All right. Keep it pushing.